Hey there. Uh, so I had some people asking me uh, a couple weeks ago about the different uh, picking styles and ways you can play the ukulele using your fingers or plectrums. Um, and then some more people were asking me advice about picks. So I thought I'd talk a little bit about what picks I personally use and then some options that I tried that I didn't like, but they might be great for you or for somebody else. Um, so first I'll do some finger picks. I don't use a lot of finger picks um, because I don't like not being able to take them off, essentially mid-song. Um, but occasionally I will use them. Uh, for claw hammer, if I'm playing a steel string uh, instrument, uh, my nails are kind of crummy. Uh, soft so uh i'll do that uh, my favorite one my favorite claw hammer finger pick is the joel hooks uh thimble uh he's like a really awesome uh dude he, like a banjo player in new hampshire i think uh and he's an expert on classic banjo and makes some cool banjo accessories and is super knowledgeable and helpful mm -hmm. and he sells these things um looks like a little iron man helmet or something um and i guess it's based on what some people might have been using in the 1800s, they call it a thimble. And it goes on just like that. You tighten the bands and... This is claw hammer, of course, so you're striking down. It's not good for up picking, but if you're doing claw hammer. So it saves your nails. It sounds a lot louder, so if you're trying to get some projection, it's louder than your nail, probably, unless you have, like acrylic nails maybe i don't know um so that's my favorite claw hammer pick some other decent claw hammer picks are this i think it's called the alaska pick um you can put them on and then you can clip them to shape them um and they're good for claw hammer you can also use them for up picking so that's cool um that's good and, you know, you put two on and you're, you know, you're good to go. Um, so those are what I use. Some other ones. You got this weird other helmet looking guy that tried for claw hammer. I didn't really like it. It didn't stay on my finger. It's too smooth. I don't, I don't know. Um, then you got like these plastic banjo picks. some people you can wear them either way I don't use them uh, they got metal ones too um, thumb pick sometimes I use a thumb pick if I want to take a pick and I don't want to lose it um, this is a speed this is what they call a speed thumb pick I don't know <laughs> flimsy and doesn't have a lot of area but you don't lose it and it's easy to hold problem is you can't take it off so if i decided i want to play claw hammer mid song i can't do that because i can't play claw hammer with this um so if i need a thumb pick a plastic one is probably good to go uh i don't like the metal ones i don't like the sound they make um most people i feel like don't really use them i don't know um but that's finger picks like i said not really a finger pick kind of guy um I'm more of a, uh, a plectrum guy. Uh, so we can talk about that now. Uh, my favorite kind are like this kind right here. It's big. It's kind of pointy, but not really. It's kind of like what a mandolin player uses, I guess, probably, I think. But I'm not really sure. Um, I like them because they're easy to hold on to. I kind of have some joint issues. Uh, so that's nice. You can score them up, too, if you want. That's a good trick score them to hold on to them easier um they have a nice sound so you know that kind or i have some other that are similar a little rounder but nothing like that that's that's basically what i really like um these are dunlops i think right uh pleck 
no, I'm sorry, D'Andrea Pleck. I don't know, I just buy, I just buy like 30 at a time uh, from strings by mail. Um, I experimented with some ones I liked, different kinds, and then I just picked the ones I liked and bought a bunch of them. So I do have a lot of picks around, and you know, I can, I can play with any pick just about. It's not really a big deal, uh, but there's ones I like. Um, here's like a standard medium guitar pick. That works, you know. You can hear it's a little snappier, right? Um, so that could be good. It's a little thin to hold on to for me, but... Um, it's nice and snappy, and it doesn't bend too much, and it does sound good strung with full chords. Here's this one, my favorite. Strung with full chords. So yeah, this is like a little bit more guitar-y sounding. Um, this is probably what most people end up playing with, and that's cool. Um, yeah, that's just a regular guitar pick, medium. Um, I have some of these ones that I experimented with. They're like tall and thin. They're okay. They have a nice sound. Uh, they're cool. They're all right. Um, some other ones I like is like this, um, this like big stubby style. This is cool. It's got a really fat sound. because it has these indents right there and it's scored uh, these are really nice i like these a lot too um these are good all-purpose picks um they're uh they're they have a nice sound they're good for strumming but mostly for picking the thing about picks is like you know maybe it has a nice feel but it doesn't have a good sound or you want it to sound different for a different purpose like um like how uh if I'm playing electric ukulele, you know, that can get a little shrill, like electric solid body. So I'd use like a nice thicker pick like this uh, to sort of uh, mellow out that sound probably. I, I don't know if I'd play this because it would just add to the shrillness of one already kind of shrill instrument. Um, then you've got like this tiny teardrop stubby that I kind of like. It's like a teardrop pick. Uh, they're like tiny little ones that are usually on the thicker side. They're popular with like jazz guys. I got them doing because Danny Gatton. I was used to be really into Danny Gatton, and he plays with them. They're nice. Small picks are good because they're easier to palm sometimes. You can get them out of the way. Um, but you lose them easier. Um, here's a crazy one. Oh, this is my thickest. Yeah, look at that. That's... I don't even know. It's called a Dunlop Flow 420, so maybe like 4 millimeters. Uh, it's pretty cool. and then kind of like a pop at the end. If I was playing like jazz on an electric solid body, I'd probably be using this. It's maybe not, it's maybe not good for like, uh, it's not bad, but yeah, I kind of click it a little. I'm finding myself clicking it, so I got to adjust a little bit with it. this leather one these are these are kind of nice i don't really like them that much but they're popular with ukuleles you know a lot of people say you can't play ukulele with a pick because it's like bad for the strings or whatever which is a bunch of bs but this is like the compromise and they're good too i mean they do have like a nice soft sound it kind of sounds like a finger i think that's why people like it but it's good for people who can't use their fingers or whatever um, it's really not good for single note stuff in my opinion it's got a kind of a soft dull sound uh, and it's difficult to play with. It's kind of flimsy. And they don't stand up to the weather well. They definitely deteriorate if you get them wet or something. So I don't really, I don't, I don't care for them. But some people are super into them. And that's cool. They also have felt ones, which I like a little bit better. They're kind of, have that same sound, but they're way easier to use. They're a little uh, stiffer. Those are the those are the picks that I use. Um, I said you don't have to use a pick; you can use your fingers. I do that a lot too. Claw hammer. But you know, those are the picks that I use sometimes.
does when I use a pick. Um, and I guess I'll just play a song using a couple different kinds of picks. So if you want to stay tuned for that, go ahead. Thank <laughs> you. 